what's up what's up so i'm sitting here kind of annoyed and aggravated so i figure let me come on and uh do a little video do a little video i'm actually um actually had a delivery can't even get my thoughts together can't even get my, my thoughts straight i'm so aggravated but um I was here to make a, here to make a delivery. Actually, I got to unload it. I'm gonna get off and show you in a minute. But I was actually I called my dispatch and told the dispatch what was going on. And because uh, the signs pulling in here before I got on the, before I came to this location where I'm at, uh, the sign said no through trucks and no turnaround space. And so when I drove down, I'm actually on a, sitting on a Moffat right now. And those that don't know what a Moffat is, a Moffat is like a forklift. And so uh, um, I told them that uh, that you know the sign what the sign said and that it was real tight. And so I said, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive down, drive down, um, and see drive out to the location and let them know how big it was and can I fit can I fit with a tractor trailer. And so when I drove down here on the Moffitt, I came inside and it was actually a guy making a delivery, and he's he was in a, um, a box truck. And he was telling me that, he was like, where you park? And I said, well, I'm parked on, on the main street. He said, we're not going to get in here with that. I said, I barely got in. And I was like, well, I'm looking at looking at the, the angles and everything. And I was like, yeah, you're right. But you, you can actually, like I said, I got in. I, I got in fine, but I was trying to I was trying to pull forward so I can back up. When I pulled forward to, um, to back up, the front tires got stuck. And then when I got unstuck, I backed up again and got stuck again, so I got, actually got stuck twice in the same area. So let me get out the Moffitt. First, I'm going to show you the house. It's huge. And uh, maybe walk around the pool and everything. I'll, I'll show you the hoop. Remember, maybe I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm going to do it anyway. You don't know the address. I'm, I'm here in uh, Port St. Lucie. So let me get off real quick while I'm waiting because I, I had to call. I had to call. My supervisor had him send somebody to come get me. So, as you can see, this is the location here. See all the blocks and everything. Then you can see the house that they're building. See how huge it is. I don't know how many bedrooms it's gonna be, but they're not finished yet. You can see the truck. See how it's, how it's kinda. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I walk around the back, but I don't feel like walking around the back. I'm kind of tired. Like I said, I'm tired and aggravated at the same time. How you do both? But this is this is how it is sometimes when you're doing local. When you're doing some local driving. You get into your pitfalls, but like I was telling my girl, I say sometimes you just gotta follow your first mind. Like I was like, just let me stay, stay on the main road. But then I almost got hit by a car, and so I, I said I don't want to get hit by a car making a delivery. So I said let me go ahead and um pull in here so I guess I guess the risk even though I got stuck it, it, it always it always uh maybe getting hit so just have to sit and wait but anyway that's pretty much my little rant and I figured I'd chime in as I made a video for a while and express my feelings because I was kind of upset but you know what right now I feel a little, now that I talked about it to you guys to my the viewers I feel a little better so um uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, comment down below, share if you want to. And sometimes, regardless of what kind of job you do, sometimes you're going to have your rough days, your good days. But take them both with a smile. So you be safe, you be blessed. I'm out.